What happened to your party that folks like me don't even consider it anymore? They never put somebody up there who I would even consider voting for. The party's taken a, a sharp turn to the right. Uh, and for example, I am a Republican, of course, and principally because of my background, my feelings about foreign policy and defense spending and things like that, but I'm very moderate with respect to social issues. And I found increasingly over the last uh, 10 or 15 years, the party's moved further away from somebody like me. And my lecturing to the party, and I've talked to senior officials in the party, is that if we're really going to be a successful party, particularly in presidential elections, you have got to start appealing to more than the base. And you definitely have to start appealing to minorities. Because the minorities are going to be the majority in about 20 years. Right. Hello? Hello? Hispanics, Asian Americans, and African Americans are going to be the majority of Americans. So my Republican colleagues have got to understand this and have got to appreciate the views of the far right. But it can't be the only view that is taken into account within the party or else they're going to suddenly run into a brick wall and have difficulties. And it also contributes to the, <clears throat> to the lack of this credibility that exists between the two parties and the way in which Congress has gotten itself all gridlocked because they can't find ways to look across, argue their position, and then find compromise. That's the way our founding fathers did it, my gosh. In 1789, these guys argued, stuck in a room, no television stuck in a room, but they came out with compromises to include a horrible one, three-fifths of a right. person like me uh, not having any rights whatsoever. Uh, but they had to do that in order to create a constitution, and we had to fight with that till today.